Hi my friend, welcome in this new video. We'll continue today to uh, explore plug data. Uh, what I talked about in a previous video, we'd like to do uh, some quick video uh, with uh, this exploration. So um, let's go to my screen now. And um, no, as you can see here, oh, as you can see here, I, I um, did this patch and my goal here was to uh, recreate a very simple patch. As you can see, it's a re very simple kind of synthesizers um, uh, and what I'd like to do is to um, uh, make it um, recreate something I did uh, side to side you can see uh, it's quite the same thing there is only one different actually is this S2F uh, object you can see here on plug data it's uh, an object well, that um, make a conversion transform uh, uh, signal uh, to um, floating a number and it's an audio uh, object for the same patch here in max I didn't need it um, but I discovered that I need it here on uh, plug data so as you can see more and less exactly the same thing there is another difference uh, this difference is a MIDI in here I have on plug data I don't need it in Max. I need it here. In Max, I just need to add a not in object and it works. And here I have to, I have to add a MIDI in object and then send uh, the raw MIDI data in a not in object. Okay, as you can see, by default, everything is my ADSL. Uh, object is everything is in zero. So let's say we have uh, one one second um, attack. Let's say we have I don't know, and here you can make zero point eight, and here maybe a longest um, release. And of course, the, um, uh, the sound uh, responds to velocity because I use velocity for two things in this patch. I use the velocity to um, trigger the uh, envelope here and um, also to play on a volume of um, my cycle objects. As you can see here, there is my main oscillator thing. And here there's um, some over OSC, but just here for give some character and add some bidding of my add sound. So I have a nominal value of 1.02, but I can, of course, change here. So what I can do here is to make it bigger because it would be easier for me to to fine tune So as you can see too, is that what I did here, and this is why the sound uh, will not change, that my, I don't, use, uh, I, I, I don't um, trig uh, this oscillator with my not in, so it just something I had. So there is a problem because I have a sound only when I trig it. Uh, so maybe I can trig it with it and see uh, how it works. Okay. Now 
there's another way I have to do that. I have to make a mistake. Maybe, I don't know. can do it's to move this one just for to show you and play with my value here okay so let's add a number here and a number here it's very messy but it's what experimentation is I have also a problem about retrieving the envelope. I don't know what I can do to make it better because it's really a monophonic kind of thing. And now let's add some effects from Ableton. Here I already have um, kind of reverb and a delay. River, it's very strange and spooky sound. with a very long attack and I can imagine uh, what I can imagine doing is to make another LFO um, let's continue with the cycle object something faster I think it's interesting it's very weird but it's interesting uh, yeah I don't know if it's interesting to have the same ear and to change. Uh, now I have to maybe because they have a signal here. Maybe I can multiply the signal, make an object with um, multiply um, tilde and multiply by I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think I need a space here. Yes. And so now here it's a real signal here. I multiply the signal and uh, I have another one like that. Whoa. Okay, so my friend, thank you very much to watch this video. As you can see, it's um, 
and open open our room to experimentation, which I like a lot. I want to start playing with this kind of thing. I want to add uh, a module here, a number here, a kind of modulation here, maybe something else. Uh, what I propose to you is to continue to uh, make this patch evolving and um, maybe trying to use it with some uh, sequencing or uh, um, some MIDI effect in Ableton, um, envelope MIDI, some uh, uh, a chord, a pagiat or this kind of thing and see what can happen to in the conjunction to create some very experimental synthesizers. This one is so simple, I'm agree with that, but I think uh, I will never uh, find this kind of sound, even if it's the simplest sound you can hear maybe uh, on an over synthesizer. Just try things. I just add a cycle object uh, uh, to a, a cycle object to another one, and I don't, I don't know. It just like it's like writing on a paper. This is something I I say since many times uh, working with Max or with kind of a environment, pure data, or no uh, plug data too, and now plug data is too. It's like writing something. It's like automatic writing. Maybe you can do this kind of thing, and it's and it's very interesting for me. So thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.